Hello Hobby people, I'm back with another video and as you can see we got another organized with me video. Um, today I'm going to be organizing my nail stickers and my um, stamping plates. So I want to show you all how I'm going to do that. I have these photo albums here that I got from my local Dollar Tree. Um, they were only a buck and that's what I'm going to use to organize my stickers and my stamping plates. So I figured since this cute little cat um, album has like different faces and things on it, I think it'd be easier for me to remember that my stamping plates are in here. So I'm gonna put my stamping plates in this one and then I'm gonna organize my stickers into this one. And actually, I actually realized I don't have too many stamping plates. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with that first and then we'll come and organize these stickers together. So yeah, this, like I said, it's just a regular photo album here. I'm gonna take my stamping plates and I, yeah, I'm gonna take this out of the plastic. I was trying to decide if I was gonna take it out of the plastic or not, but I am. And then I'm gonna just put them all in their own little slot here. Now technically, I guess I could do two to one. Yeah, since mine's are pretty skinny. I could technically do like multiple to one, but I feel like if I do that and try to flip the page, let's see, let's see what this looks like. If I do this and try to flip the page, oh, that's okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do two to one. That's not bad because they're so skinny and then my wider ones I'll just probably do to one page. So let me see if I have some themes here that are similar and I will put those together. Um, let's see. So here are my thicker ones. These are going to go in a slot by itself anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that right now. And it's just gonna be one to one page. Yeah, pretty easy peasy, y'all. We're gonna do that. Um, so this stamping plate has like different leaves and stuff on it. So I'm gonna just put that as the first one because likely that's what I'll be, you know, trying to use first. And then this one here has just like different full cover prints and things like that. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna just put it here. And then for this one, it has like animal print and different letters on it. I'm gonna just put that here. And then I am gonna leave this one blank for future use. And I, I wanna kinda keep them to the, to the inside here so that um, they don't slide back and forth. So yeah, actually, now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't take up much room at all, but I actually technically could just go ahead and put this one next to it, which might be better so that it doesn't slide around as much. So I actually think that I'm gonna do that. Let's see here. So this one's more like floral leaves and stuff like that. So because that's the case, I'm gonna probably go ahead and put my butterfly one here. This is a butterfly. I'm gonna just stick that right here. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And then on this one, this one has like random designs and stuff, and this one kind of does too. So I'm gonna put that next to it like this. So yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and then even flipping through the page, it kind of makes sense to do it that way. Okay, cool. Yeah, I like that. So that's that. And then uh, this one here, just like animal prints and things like that. So I'm gonna put this one here. And then over here, since I don't have any more, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just put this one like this. Yeah, and that's all with my stamping plates. I thought I had more, but that's what I have right now. And for these things right here, since I know I will need them up front, I'm just gonna put them here in the face of the album. That way they're like easier to get to. So I'm gonna just put those here like this. And these are the scrapers for the, for the stamping plates. All right, cool. So look at that. <laughs> All of those put away now. So yeah, so I got my scrapers here at the front because I'll need those easy access. And then I just got my plates. I have my wider ones here, my skinny ones off to the side. Just flip it, can look at it really easy and quick. And as I get more stamping plates, I'll go ahead and just fill this on up. So yeah, I'm liking how this is organized. So that's my stamping plates. 
The next thing I'm gonna do is, wait a minute, I have Christmas stamping plates. Where'd those go? Okay, so I just remembered that I also have my Christmas stamping plates. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here too. These are the wider ones. So these are pretty much get a sheet for themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out the packaging here. So these are my Christmas ones. I thought I had more. So for this then, let's see. So I'm gonna take the cat out here. And let's see if anything kind of goes with the cat a little bit. We have different snowflakes, snowflakes, trees. So these are kind of snowflake heavy. I got like reindeer and stuff on this one. So because there's animals on this one, I'll put this one here. And then I'll put my cat next to it. Like so. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And then we'll just put these in here like this. Where's the center? Okay, now that's everything. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so now I have my actual stickers, okay? I haven't decided how I wanna do these just yet. Let's see. So, let me just try to organize them here first by, you know, some type of rhyme or reason here. So we have these. These are my really old stickers. So I know my really, really old ones I'm gonna put together because I don't wanna mix them with my new ones. Okay, these are like the French tip ones and I have this with that. So I'll organize that in the folder sleeve. This is like little tattoo stamp thingies and this is the instructions for it. So I'm gonna put all of these in one little sleeve. I think these are water slide decals. I don't think these are stickers. We got butterflies, more old stuff. Here we got Halloween here. Okay, then we got, let's do butterflies here. So we got butterflies, flowers. Christmas, got flames. Let's put flames off to the side. I'm gonna put these with flowers, butterflies, and gold decals. I'm gonna put those here. Gold, butterfly, gold, butterfly, 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 flowers, random art here. Let's see. Okay, so I feel like I use gold stickers a lot, right? So I think I'm gonna start my album off with my gold stickers here. So I have like these random gold, you know? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna start it off with gold. So I'm gonna start it off with this, these, and this, and even my flames, cause I don't have a lot of flames. So I'm gonna start it off with gold, and then do butterflies, cause I have more of those too. Well, maybe I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with butterflies, then do gold, then do flowers, and then do holiday themes, so. Halloween and Christmas, okay? Okay, I think that's good. I do think that I'm gonna take these out. Do I wanna just put them in here like this? Okay, I don't need to, I'm gonna take them out. Let's just just get them out a little bit. Okay, so I don't feel like I have enough stickers to fill up this whole album, but I just found some more stickers that I had in other locations. So um, these right here is just like little mini post-it notes. And I'm thinking what I could do is in here, 
just have it, you know, something labeled where it just kind of lets me know that I'm going to like a different category. And so, yeah, I found some more gold stickers, which I have a butt ton of, and then I have animal print stickers too. So I think I want to organize those separate. Let's see, like so. And then these go with the flowers. Okay, so I did find more butterflies here. So that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, so actually these are the same ones. I really like these, so I went back and got more. So I'm gonna just put these on the same sleeve here. These are just my butterflies. I'm gonna do all the butterflies together. Okay, so this is the first photo album. So this is like gonna be like butterflies, uh, hearts, just like random, like little um, different like accent things you can add on your nails. So 
this is what I have here. So I got my butterflies, okay, at the beginning. Then I have, you know, some hearts and some different shapes. These are some glow in the dark butterflies, so I put them here. These are all of like my gold stickers. Y'all can see I really like gold. So animal print gold, leopard print gold. These are like the little, um, I don't really know how to describe it, but um, I like these to put like if you marble your nails, like the chrome accent that you can put on there if you chrome. I mean, if you um, do marble nails, so I like having that. I have it in gold and rose gold. I got here is just some like floral stickers. Um, these are some stickers I want to try to do um, some milk bath nails with. So I've got that, flowers, and then it kind of goes into like a little bit of randomness here towards the end. So that's that. I do have some holiday themed stickers, so I'm actually going to go ahead and organize those next. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and organize those next. And actually, at the end of this book, I see here I got these French tips. I'm going to go ahead and put this all the way to the back of the, the book, just so that I know that it's like random nail art back here. That if I want to use it, that's where I'll find it, at the back of the book. <laughs> and then these little things here, I actually, I'm going to organize these right in front of that. So this is like a map. This is like just random nines. And this is like supposed to be newspaper. I've had these for years. I got these from the dollar store. So I'm going to just add these in here, let them slide to the bottom. And then these are the instructions on how to use it. So I'm going to just put these in here with that. Yeah, that's not the prettiest, but that's how I'm going to keep that here. So yeah, this is my first book of stickers. All right. And then in this album, I'm just going to go ahead and organize all of my Christmas stuff. Actually, I changed my mind. So in this album, I'm going to go ahead and organize all of my Halloween slash Christmas stuff. So. I'm, I'm thinking I'm likely going to try to get stuff to go for each season, but until I get that, I'm just going to organize what I have. So, oh, I forgot the, okay, so these I'm going to add in the other album. Yeah, these are just my really old nail art stickers. I'm going to put this towards the back of that old album, so we're going to put that there. Now for Christmas, I think I'm going to just hop right on in and start with Christmas first, because I have a lot of Christmas stickers, so... All of these came in like a pack, so I'm going to just go ahead and put these in as I see them. Like so. Actually, no. I want to start with what I probably probably would use first. Oh, that's kind of cool. These kind of came separate. Looks like these are kind of... They look similar. Yeah, these kind of look similar, so I'm going to put those together. We got some red Christmas stickers here. We have gold Christmas stickers. I want to organize these first, like the gold and red first, and then go into like the more colorful ones, which I think, I think so. Yeah, what's this? Okay, I might go with this. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, let's start with red. Let's start with red. So we, when I open this album, I know it's Christmas, Christmas. Okay. start with this rose gold because because yeah. because I want these to kind of face each other oh, let me do like that and I can put this one here like that. yeah that's good so we're gonna start with this and then the gold, oops, oh, I guess we'll do red next. Red, and then gold. Thank you. 
change. Come to come in here. I probably should have went with this one. That's that, and then we have some Halloween stickers. Okay, so I am all done organizing my albums and this is what we have here. So all those stickers that you saw, they have been combined into these three albums. So first I'm gonna start off with my Stamping Play album. Like I said, since the kitty cats have the different faces, I figured since when I'm stamping, it's gonna be different images, it'll be a good album to put it in. So this is how I have it organized. Um, I have my two scrapers right here so that they're easy access whenever I'm ready to start stamping. And then I have um, like the wider plates on this side and the skinnier ones on this side. And then yeah, I just have it organized by, you know, things that I thought that fit together nicely. And so it's nice and easy to flip through. So yeah, as I get more stamping plates, I'll go ahead and fill the rest of this on up. But yeah, I don't really have many. I thought I had way more than this, but yeah. What is that? Two, four, six, eight nine I only got nine plates so I thought I had more but yeah that's my stamping plates um, next I have my um, just nail stickers so this one is pretty full I think I still have a few pages left let's see yeah it's pretty full I have a few pages left but I just organized it by like different categories so I got like butterflies here in the front the first couple pages I feel like these are ones I might use more often and then I got like just random gold stickers that I use. So these are like smaller square stickers. I didn't want to put two of these to a page by themselves. So I just put it with some of my other gold stickers. And yeah, these are my animal print gold stickers. Um, then if we go into like more floral, um, more gold. I really like these. These are some like rose gold stickers. I can't wait to use these. Um, what else? Animal print. And then it just kind of becomes miscellaneous. This like the abstract. Got a couple of flames here. And then these are all empty. So when I get more stickers, I'll put them in here. And these are like my really ancient nail stickers like that I've had for a very, very long time. Like since I was in college and I've been graduated out of college for a very long time. So yeah, I don't want to, yeah, these are really old. So I have these here. Um, these are by Kiss. I have these um, by Nailene and I don't even know, Diva or something. Like I said, you can see how old this Dollar General sticker is. That lets you know how old these stickers are. Like they're very ancient. So I'm by LA Colors. Um, I'm excited to use these two. Again, these are like the little, I don't really know what they are, but they like transfer. These supposed to transfer. Let's see. Oh, it's, they call it a nail tattoo. So two coats of polish. 
let dry, dip into water. Oh, it's a water slide decal. Oh, okay. So these are water slide decals. That's awesome. Okay, I didn't realize that's what those were. <laughs> so you're supposed to put it in water and let it, that's cool. Okay, yeah. And then I just have like my French tips. So yeah, so that's this one. And then the last one is my um, holiday themed one. So I have my Christmas stickers. Um, so this is everything that I have here. These are some cute rose gold stickers. I really like these. Um, we got some red ones here, gold. Okay. These are some glow in the dark stickers here. You can't really see them. And then these are more just like random holiday stickers. Although not all of these are holidays. Some of these have like random stuff on it. So I'll have to make sure that like when I'm picking my nail art that I kind of look at this one too. Cause some of these have like random items on it. Cause I think one of these had like an envelope for mail or something. I can't remember. Yeah, this one here has like an envelope on it. So I could use that for like something else. But um, anywho, um, so that's Christmas and then we go into Halloween here. So these are my Halloween nail art stickers. Okay, and then I just kept the label here so I could know that, you know, what brand it was from in case I like the brand and want to do it again. And then yeah, all of these are empty. And then here in the back, okay, so I'm not really sure how I want to organize these. Like I said, these are really small so only two can fit to a page. I just feel like it's just a waste of space to just do like these to a page or whatever. So likely what I'll do is maybe the rest of the remaining pages in here, I'll fill those up, but I just feel like it's a waste of space. So for now, I just have them in here. I did take some out of here and organize them with some things I thought fit together. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna keep them back here. And yeah, y'all, that is how I organize my snapping plates and my nail stickers. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I do have another organization video coming soon featuring these empty containers here. These came from my foils and I'm gonna be organizing my nail charms and um, even some rhinestones in here. So I'm super excited to be organizing my charms because I have a lot of them and they're so pretty. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know how do you organize your nail stickers? Like, do you all have like another method, another way, something more efficient, etc.? I love to hear about it down in the comments. Um, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!